Well, hello there, Leo. It is so good to see you again. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're so glad to have you. Um, so today, I'm doing your July career and money reading. We're going to take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support okay let's start off with your animal spirit um card butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful leo <laughs> this is truly uh lovely lovely energy um and it's in your career and money sector you know um perhaps we'll, we'll see you know perhaps it's about you transforming your relationship with money or transforming your, you know, what you think you are worth <laughs> into, um, to your, you know, um, employer or something like that. It's understanding um, that whatever it has been going on in your career and money sector, it's so that you could transform your relationship with the 3D world and pro possibly the 5D world. So let's go um, take a look. Let's get deeper into this. So we're going to do a combination of Oracle and Tarot cards. We're going to be taking a look at your present energy and the any obstacles that you have on your path, but we're also going to take a look at your strength in your career and money sector and advice from spirit about how you can use that to help this transformation along. So your present energy, oh my gosh, transformation. <laughs> there is a huge transformation going on in your life at this time. I feel like you're truly seeing things differently. I mean, you know, um, how, how your work, I want to say how your work has led you. You see that bridge? It's almost like how your work has led you down a path that has transformed you in a personal way. It's not necessarily that your career or money have transformed. It's the relationship that you have with your work and your relationship with money because our relationship with money has a lot is very much tied to our relationship with how much we value ourselves um so it's a, an interesting type of energy to have transformation pop right out the first two cards both are transformation so let's see what your obstacle is kindred partnership I'm going to lay these out because I feel like there's um, somewhat of a um, wow yeah having to let go and it's not let go of necessarily people or a job it's letting go of your belief about something um, Yeah. Okay. Really interesting. We have the emperor and the empress. Um, and I get this. Okay. This has been a long journey. Um, could be even nine years that this transformation has taken place. It's a journey of persevering through a lot of obstacles. Some could have been in your personal life, some of them in your career and money sector. But I feel as if there's almost this energy of something recently has happened, perhaps to somebody that's really close to you. Um, something has happened and it is part of this transformation. Now, I know that we're on career and money sector, right? But there is this strong energy of personal relationships coming into this. It does not have to be romantic. It can be, but it could be family, friend. It could be even co-worker relationships. 
I feel like you at a time, okay, we're a little bit in this emperor energy. I'm building an empire or I'm my career is really important to me or you may have wanted to have a lot of power in your job in some way. Okay, so you wanted to be, you know, uh, if you couldn't be like the CEO or something, you want to be head of a department or something like that. But part of the problem is, is that you could have had some difficulty in other relationships or in the relationships with the people at work or something like that. There's been this softening, okay, of that emperor energy, of coming into this energy of putting more love into your work. Because I feel as if, I want to say, I keep hearing um, life is too short. Like suddenly realizing that you put a lot of time and energy into your career. You built a really nice career. You may have found a lot of financial stability in it. But at the end of the day, you found yourself a little bit alone. Okay, even if you were perhaps married or had a family or something like that. You found yourself not, even when you were surrounded by other people, it was almost a sense of being lonely, even when you were around other people. And the reason is, is because you had all this time and energy put into your career or this empire that you were building. But what you di didn't realize was that it was really taking away from the love that you were able to give to others, but also the love that you were able to give to yourself. And so part of your transformation is understanding that the work that you do, okay, also has to have a sense of love. That is perhaps why this Empress energy is here. Um, because the empress is the emperor, but with a, a good dose of love, okay? You know, she's much softer of an energy. We also have the three of swords under here and the ace of wands. I feel, once again, there is a heart loss, you know, a heart break, a very strong disappointment that has led you to see things in a different way. You're wanting to go in a new direction. For some of you, if you are separated from the emperor and the empress is twin flame. Um, so it could be been that you were married or in a connection with your twin flame or a very deep soul connection and something happened to that connection. Okay. Um, it could be that this is helping you to see life in a new way. I feel like you're, you're really and truly transforming. It's like you're going on a new path because underneath that we have the moon card. You know, we just had the new moon in Cancer. It could have brought up a lot of feelings, a lot of feelings of why am I spending so much time building this empire? Meanwhile, right, I, I haven't <laughs> built these really lovely connections with other people. It's almost like understanding that what you thought you valued in the past, perhaps a, a you know, a lot of financial wealth or definitely stability, okay, has actually created this energy of not truly um, putting out your love, of loving people just for, for who they are instead of maybe what they own or what they do. And I don't want you, I don't want that to sound like, um, you know, superficial. I feel like this is somehow letting you, letting yeah, look at this. Letting go, healing light, the loving man. I feel like for some of you, you are meeting a true counterpart. If you're, you know, or separated from a true counterpart. But that relationship is helping you to understand that life isn't all about um, your career and money. That, there, that there's more to it, you know. Um, that, that you really want this true loving connection. You want to spend more time with another person, whether you're with that person now or you want to meet that person. Yeah, star, four wands. Yeah, page of pentacles. Lots of healing going on here. Um, you could be trying to heal a specific connection 
Um, the star card is this healing, you know, with the kindred partnership. Kindred, kindred partnership could be a business partner, co co-worker, romantic, family, friend, a relationship. There's something here that you really want to heal in this connection. Um, you want this happy family. I think for some of you, you may have had some type of a conflict with, you know, a long-term committed relationship or marriage, you know, um, something may have changed in that dynamic. And what you're really wanting is that to be healed or, or to attract in a long-term committed relationship. Hmm. Really, um, pretty profound because here is your strength. A great achievement card. You know, it's almost as if your strength has always been the great achievements that you've been able to make as the emperor or in your career and money sector. Um, it's kind of like, uh, you know, almost like you have all those uh, these accolades or plaques hanging up in your house or your office or something like that. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. They're leaving you sad at the end of the day. It's kind of like, almost like you have, I, I'm seeing a wall and it has all these like diplomas or plaques or accolades, you know, hanging on it. But it's kind of like, yeah, it's not fulfilling me as a person. Because I feel like what you're wanting to do is to express your feelings, your emotions to others. It's, uh, I feel like you're becoming a teacher, a healer with the Page of Swords here. Learning how to express your feelings, your emotions. Healing your feelings and emotions. Helping other people to heal their emotions. That it's kind of almost like you're understanding that you are hiding behind your career this is not going to resonate with everybody, but if you're resonating with it, you know, asking yourself, did you find your worth, okay, in every single plaque that you put up on the wall, okay? You were finding your worth by that. You felt like that proved that you were worthy. Now what you're doing is you're understanding, I have all these plaques, but I, I still don't feel fulfilled. Um... Because maybe in the past, all you were trying to do was to get another plaque to hang on the wall, right? Best salesman or, you know, I don't know, you know. And so there is this sense of, you know, I feel like for some of you, there could be somebody in your life that has left your life or maybe even passed. Um... And it's kind of like you're recognizing that life is too short. There's almost this sense of life is too short. Why, why do I care about all these accolades? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll share a little story that it's kind of reminding me of. Um, I have um, some neighbors um, that are older and they both have passed in the last couple of years. You know, I mean, they had very nice lives. <laughs> they were well into their 90s. Um, and when the wife died, her, her obituary was filled with all of these loving things that she had done for other people, you know, this volunteering, um, you know, I don't know, you know, working at her church, helping, you know, people, it was uh, one story after another of uh, her, you know, dedicating her life to, um, helping other people and her family and, you know, whatnot. OK, um, and her husband's obituary was all about his achievements. In fact, his obituary had almost like no real mention of any family connections. It listed, you know, his family members, but there, there was no. Um, and I, I felt like it was kind of sad when I read it because he had some really great achievements. Um, he was the emperor. <laughs> he had some really great achievements. But it was kind of like, you know, this, this energy of he was being remembered for all of these achievements. She was being remembered 
for the love that she had given other people. Um, and it's not, I'm not saying, I mean, he obviously enjoyed doing what he did and he did a great job at it, right? But I feel like everybody goes in different directions, chooses different paths, right? And he chose his path, she chose her path. I feel like you were on perhaps the path of being the emperor and choosing to gain one plaque or achievement after another. But now you're like, Oh, wait a minute. I see that other path. I think I might want to walk on that path a little bit. Because with that Empress energy underneath, it's like you're taking the energy of being the Emperor, but you're adding a big touch of love. It's not like you're quitting your job or anything. It's kind of like, it's almost like this energy of we have this big company, like you're the CEO of a big company and it makes money. And you're kind of like, wait a minute, how can we give back to the community? How can we take this, all these profits and make lives better? You know, how can we make the life of the people that work in this company better? How can we make the life of our community better? How can we make the life of the world better? Why, why, why do we have this big pile of money? <laughs> why don't we spread it around a little bit? I guess that's the message, right? Because you're, you're, um, your uh, uh, supportive energies, what the universe is trying to bring to you is your spiritual path. You're understanding now that perhaps the, the gifts, the talents that you have learned while being an emperor can now all of a sudden be used for the good of the collective of the world. You know, it's not that you've been on the wrong path because you haven't, Leo. There is no wrong path. The path that you chose at one time has brought you um, the ability to build an empire, right? Or business savvy or how to manage people or, you know, how to create new things, right? There's a lot of good in being the emperor, right? Now, all you're wanting to do, I feel, is to, you, you're, you don't necessarily want to manifest a lot more for yourself. It's like, no, wait a minute, I want to manifest for the community. Maybe, you know, that's just your family or maybe it's the community that you live in or in the entire world. Oh my gosh, this is just lovely. Yeah, putting your time and energy into this new path, you're not really sure where it's going. And I feel like once again, Ten of Swords, there's been a trigger of some sort in your in your life. We don't have the tower card, but it's almost like a tower. I really think it's somebody has said something to you, somebody in your life has left your life, something has like changed and it's kind of like, wow, um, I'm you doing this healing. You're doing this healing. The wheels are turning. The wheels in your head are turning, but you're also turning. You're moving in a new direction. It's like you've opened up this new portal, right? And the Queen of Wands, lovely energy, stepping into your confidence. You know, the Queen of Wands is very much like a junior empress, <laughs> if you will. You know, she's charismatic. She's attractive, you know, um, very much your energy, Leo. Uh, stepping into a room and, you know, everybody wants to be with you. But you're understanding that it's not just, it's not just about you or, or your business or something. You, you want the blessings to be not just for you, but for others too. Intuition and manifestation. I feel this is your advice. You know, listening to your intuition, listening to your spirit guides and angels. I feel like... You know, for some of you, I really feel like this is such a huge shift in your life. Um, and I, I do feel like for some of you, somebody, you know, maybe a parent has passed or, or a neighbor or, you know, a family member. And you're just kind of like, yeah, what is it all about? It's almost like you're asking yourself, what is it all about? So let's see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, magician. You are manifesting something totally different. You're de deciding to go in a new way. You're deciding to go in the way of love. I know this is career and money, okay? But it's this energy of 
wanting to create something in a loving way to shed more love and light into the world. You're being called. This is a definitely a spiritual type of energy of it's, um, you know, something has triggered you and you're kind of like, whoa, wait a minute. I want to make a shift, a, a big shift. Yeah. King of wands. You know, you may be a little uh, sleep, uh, having trouble sleeping at night, but King of Wands is very fiery energy, very much your energy. You know, spiritual leader, stepping in, stepping up, being a leader, leading people in a new inspiring way. You know, the magician trying to manifest something new in the world. You know, there's a lot of you know, stuff happening in the world right now. And maybe some, some of that has triggered this, you know, you're just kind of like, yeah, you know, I don't know what, what all of this may mean for you personally, but it's kind of like, yeah, time, you know, once again, time and energy. I only have so much time and energy. It's almost like you have to get going. You know, you have the cherry card, uh, stuck energy. I'm not, I'm not being stuck in the mud anymore. I'm getting in my chariot and I'm moving forward. I'm looking at all the options, but out of a sense of love, you know, how can I share more love? How can I express my love? How can I help love and light to grow in the world? Really, really <laughs> just lovely energy. I'm really excited to see how this plays out in your, in your future readings, because, um, you know, I really feel like very recently you had this the shift it's almost like you're you're seeing the world in a totally new way you know with the butterfly spirit it's kind of like you know you were in the catalyst you were in the cocoon and now all of a sudden you're like you know i'm out of this cocoon i i have work to do i have love to spread all right earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way yeah never regret love no matter how blind it improved your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser, and no matter how generous it made you more. Hubba hubba the universe. Yeah, I feel like what your your understanding is that this disappointment has put you on a new path. A new path for something great. Like I really feel, Leo, you are being you are destined to do something really great. Um, this butterfly spirit, number eleven, master number, okay? All about yourself, you know, transforming yourself, transforming what it is, you know, letting go, letting go of old belief systems, closing doors, not giving your time and energy to things that are in the way of what I feel like <laughs> is becoming a new um, soul's purpose journey for you. Wow, Leo, <laughs> really interesting. Um I do wish you much love and light in this. I do do personal readings. If you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I really do appreciate all of your support through your liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I really and truly do send you much love and light. Um, and I'd love to hear in the comments how this might, um, you know, be resonating in your life. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.